is TJ DeSalvo of the Anxiety Shim Anxiety blog, and I want to talk in this thing, video, uh, about empathy, which is something that I've talked about in the past. I think it's been a while, and some of this may be repeating myself a little bit, but I think it's important enough to repeat if that is in fact the case. Um, basically just how empathy is sort of so important to, you know, in the conversation of, uh, for anyone with mental illness, especially if you're someone who doesn't have mental illnesses, dealing with someone who does, because empathy is really, like, accepting, you know, accepting someone for, you know, like, you know, how they are, their situation, even if you can't understand it. And I think that's the most important thing, is that you don't have to understand it to have empathy, you just you can just accept it for what it is. And I think that's important because I think for people who don't have any sort of mental illnesses, you, and maybe this is controversial, but you can't understand what it's like. You can't understand what it's like inside my head. Even if you say that you do, you can't. But you still have to find ways to connect. And to having empathy, you know, I consider empathy a form of, of faith. You know, faith is... What's the quote, you know, the evidence of things not seen? If you're someone without any sort of mental illness and you say, like, and you have to take someone on their word, like, if if they're suffering, if they say that they're suffering, you can't see it if it's in your mind. Um, but you have to take them at their word. And I just think, like, it's it's so important. I, I wish more people could do that. Had the camp like more people should do that, and not just with mental illness, but with any sort of you know, just from one human being to another human being, like just be empathetic in general. Like I don't know why it's so hard. It's like the most essential thing that we have to do to make the world like a better place for people. And so many people are like incapable of doing it and I don't know why, but we just have to keep challenging ourselves to do it. Just think outside your own head. You know, there's, there are ways of being and ways of thinking that are, you know, that maybe you won't understand, but that doesn't make them any of them more valid and that doesn't mean you can't accept them.